Just think, for a dollar a day, you can help Matthew recoup his losses from investing in multiple pieces of residential real estate. Real estate never goes down, right? Well, that too, but in addition to tenants never wanting to pay their rent on time, taking them months for Matthew to evict them. Couldn't believe it. And then investing in a travel company where he could barely afford to take a free trip. And investing in a supplement company where the only thing that was supplemented was a growing inventory stocked in his garage. And investing in a food company where he just got tired of eating the same food over and over again. And not only was food down the drain, but his money was flushed down the toilet. So please call now and donate because Matthew's wife and kids cannot wait to get their daddy back. <laughs> hey guys, I've started all sorts of businesses before in the past, but nothing has been more profitable, nothing has given me more freedom and happiness and enjoyment than starting my own business in the insurance industry for less than 500 bucks. In a couple years, I started making $100,000. Last year, my wife and I, we made seven figures. Stay tuned, Leaving Money Smart episode coming at you. How come you're not selling this it's, stuff? It's the hunt, baby. It's the hunt, man. Life gives to the givers, takes from the takers, and it's a very accurate accounting system, man. You make a better living by giving. Step to becoming an independent insurance agency and being an entrepreneur in this industry is you got to get licensed. In most states, it's a 150 question, multiple choice test, and you need a 70% to pass. And even in some states, you can even take that test in Spanish. Now, in this situation, there's a partnership. In my situation, it's my wife and I. Talking about my girl, my girl. I do business development, I do marketing, I do training, I do coaching, I don't do any of the selling. That's why in this partnership, our partnership, somebody has to get licensed. Let's hear from my wife on what she does with that license here at the insurance agency. Hello, my name is Sheena Zapala and I absolutely love what we do here at PHP and being able to be a licensed professional in the industry and sit down with clients, which is what I do 100% of the time and help them properly protect themselves, it definitely fulfills a bigger purpose for me. And what I love my husband does, he's great at marketing and leadership development for people who want to be entrepreneurs, but my passion is truly helping clients day in and day out. And the second part about building your own independent insurance agency is who you're going to represent, what are you going to offer, and how many different carriers you're going to represent under your one roof. Here's a thought. Think about one very simple flagship product that's very simple for you to understand, very simple for you to train on, and very simple for you guys to sell the market. The interesting thing about being an independent insurance agency today is that is where the distribution is going. That is where exactly where the insurance companies are coming from. Why? Because these insurance companies have found, these financial companies have found that it is very expensive to hire on salary and benefits and pension salaried employees. That's why the move in this marketplace today is towards the independent insurance agency network and you got to think about companies that are creating distribution for different products and services the same way you can create distribution in the insurance industry. Kind of like how Uber creates distribution for taxis and cars. Kind of like how Airbnb, they don't even have any products or hotels, but they sell homes and rooms. At the same time to Amazon, none of these guys manufacture their own products, but they sell the products of others. That's the way it is right now in the independent insurance agency marketplace. One of my favorite words that Ashton Kutcher used in the movie Jobs when he was playing the role of Steve Jobs, when he was innovating Apple, when he was creating new technologies, when he was creating a computer, is this word, recruit. Um, where are we going? Recruiting. 
And every time he had a new project, a new idea, guess what he always did? Recruited a new, fresh team. He was always on top of the team to make sure they're always fresh and innovative. That's what you have to do in this industry of the independent insurance world where you've got to figure out what type of team do you want to build. And as you're building your business, you got to figure out, do I want a team of just specialists? They're just flat out technicians. They're just great sales guys. Or do I want to build a management team of guys that are somewhat proficient? Some guys are great. Some guys are average. Some guys are uh, uh, that you got to replace. But you got to figure out what that what that mix is uh, for you as you're growing to as an entrepreneur. Or number three, do I just want to build an army of guys that's going to go out there, figure out one mission, one product, one service, and be a masterful at it, and take that approach. And as their competency comes up, their cash flow comes up, their confidence comes up, and after a while, these guys end up building an exponential army that takes over. The competition. Now the fourth part about building your independent insurance agency is this. You've got to have a system and you got to have a culture that keeps people together. A system stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. And what we found in terms of building a system to build your agency is really many different departments. Number one, you got to have a marketing department. Boom, that's where I'm at. Number two, sales department. That's where my wife is at and that's where our insurance agents are at. Number three, operations. Number four, compliance. And number five, new business and enforced business, handling clients and handling your book of business over time and the technology to support those type of things too as well. The second part of this is what type of culture are you recruiting people towards? Is it just purely just money? Is it purely just sales? Here's the thing. We believe in mission over commission. You want to have a culture where people believe in a message, where people believe in a crusade. You want a culture where your people are focused more on why they're doing the business versus what they're getting out of it. For example, the Money Smart Movement Team Crusade is to transform the way people think, feel, manage, and reach towards financial independence. So here at the end of the day, it's that process that helps you build your people, that helps people build the business. But putting a mission over commission allows you then to get guys centered on why they're doing it versus simply about what they're getting out of it. See, when performance is measured, performance improves. And isn't that what you want with your business? Your business to improve? That's why you gotta track accountability. You gotta have a leader's bulletin, not only for your guys, but a leader's bulletin for yourself. You're tracking your numbers from quarter per quarter, year after year progress. Your staff, your operations department, your marketing department, you gotta have metrics to track your progress over time. And that can be easily as done on Excel spreadsheets. And here's the thing too as well, you gotta get your guys to big events. And who would hold these big events? Your financial marketing organization, NIFA, the MDRT, they hold big events, expos, there's local, regional, national big events. Hey, what's going on people of PHP? I cannot wait to see you guys this August at the Builders event. It's going down, it's official. I will be there in stone, etched in stone. You hear from me to you, my face to your faces, my face to your faces. I see you soon, August, going down. I know what some of you guys are saying, Matt, money smart guy. Can we really do this? Can we really start a business for less than 500 bucks as an independent insurance agency owner? The answer is an overwhelming yes. But chances are, you can go out there, you might make some mistakes, it might cost you more than 500 bucks. But if you say, Matt, I want to, I've got a budget, I'm tight, but I want a six-figure income. Matt, I really want to make a difference. Matt, I really want to work for myself. Matt, I really want to have a big vision and go to hit a seven-figure income. Can you help me do that for less than 500 bucks? What now, Matt? Well, listen, let's connect. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on our stories. Check us out on our vlog. Continue watching us on LinkedIn and Facebook. We share exactly what we're doing every day behind the scenes through these technologies so you can understand that we're real people doing real things, creating real results, helping a lot of people and change people's lives along the way. It could be you. Let's connect and we can help you get this business started for less than 500 bucks.